Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers! It's your boy, the Good Sir Knight, with the inflatable PEC-15, which is not what we're doing the video on, but we're doing a throwback video, so it seemed relevant to bring back the uh, PEC-15. This, um, I did post a picture of this when the local airsoft store let me uh, take this out of their warehouse to keep for myself, and I took a photo with it, uploaded it to Twitter, and it has been the <laughs> only successful tweet I've ever thrown out on the platform. Because it's cool, it's from 2008, it's going to be like what 15 years old later this year so yeah um if your knees didn't hurt because you were uh enlisting back in that time then uh they sure do now and this guy was from uh Venaras, but this is gonna be important this is gonna be a key part of the video we're making today although it is not about inflatable peg 15s however today as you may know as i've definitely put on the uh, thumbnail we're gonna be talking about the m57 clacker Fire, firing device styled lighter. So this is important because um, do a little bit of background research. From what I can tell, there's the Freem Bear guy. You look him up online. He's either in like China, Hong Kong sort of ordeal back in uh, late 2016, early 2017. I want to say late 2016. He wanted to take basically old school M57 clackers and uh, turn them into sort of like a lighter thing that could be uh, sold out on the commercial market. Of course, China's got all the big old manufacturing plants and everything there, so easy place to get them started. Um, there's this, uh, there's so there's four companies. Copy and translation by Huey. Couldn't find any information on Huey. Package design by Arcogen. Couldn't find any information on them other than like a Wikipedia article for what Arcogen actually is. But lastly, our special thanks guy, CCYG8774, appears to be a dude in Canada. And he's got the post from 2017, early 20, like March 2017, up on um, was one of the Canadian airsoft pages, talking about how he helped sort of like contribute some design ideas and uh, whatnot to that. And ultimately, from them all coming together, working together, and getting the design going, using 3D printers and measurements off of the real clacker devices, they were able to produce this guy right here. So of course, 2017, they um, have a big push. I know the JK Army like. Asian store was selling a bunch of them, but they have them out for a while, and they produced a lot of them, so they were relatively cheap and easy to get a hold of. However, as with the uh, PEC-15, they were only around for so long. So if you didn't get one, or somewhere around 2020, you learned that they existed, this guy, then you were like, oh hey, that looks really cool, let's look around eBay and stuff, and yeah, they didn't, uh, they didn't exist anymore. But I've got not one, but two of them here today. But we're going to be popping these open, taking a quick look at these. This is going to be an interesting review because it's not really gear, but it's still something really fun. So, before we get started with all that, let me um, take this entirely unrelated patch and just slap that right on there. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be talking about that here in a minute, too. So, pop these guys open and immediately... You're greeted by this cool little Vietnam style instruction manual. I thought this guy looked familiar right off the bat. The reason being is uh, my father worked on the uh, freaking one of the army bases and they just always bring back the freaking preventive maintenance manual. So it turns out these guys have been around since like 1967 or so, the preventive maintenance guys. And so they took that style of art they were using for the Sweet 16, M16 freaking uh, videos and stuff and they basically went with that same style and did Sweet M57. So yeah, we got our whole thing for the clacker lighter. It's got your instructions. You know, a little safety latch, how you pull that out, move, maneuver that around. Um, you get a nice little click. You get a nice little butane lighter, crazy flame. So it is something you could use with cigars. Something you can't do with big lighters. Something I generally chastise people for trying to do with big lighters if they're doing cigar smoking and whatnot. So you don't know, you don't want to be using that. Matches are good, but this is a good alternative. Of course, you could just the flame higher or lower. This is only really an issue if it's struggling to stay ignited. It did come in a little bit on the lower end of the setting, so cranking it up a bit fixed any uh, firing issues. And of course, the refill. We've got a interesting shot of perspective for how we're uh, loading this. Of course, the can and everything's inverted as if, you, as if you're filling gas mags for an airsoft gun or so. And of course you got your uh, freaking, I can't remember the actual unit, but big Vietnam, like there we go. And of course, another interesting shot for the rear. But it does stay relatively true to the uh, style of the old freaking, um, whatchamacallit, the old uh, 
preventive maintenance magazines that they were still printing because the ones my father was bringing home had the army guys in their freaking UCPs or whatever, universal combat pattern. And it was interesting talking about super esoteric parts to different vehicles and making sure they stay clean. So that's the first thing you get. Other than that, the box is full of like hay and your clacker lighter itself. Oh, and of course, light them up, you know, smoke them if you got them. That's sort of ordeal. Lift here. Cool box design, actually. I really like it. Of course, you pull this out, it's got all the little hay back in sort of like old school crate padding design stuff going on. And they don't come filled, so you gotta have butane, but you do get your cool clacker lighter here. And of course, they even put the uh, little dual bands as if you're connecting the uh, cables with the detonation stuff. If you look up the uh, first guy, the Freedom Bear, he's got his whole thing. Google Translate works relatively well for pages these days, so if you want to actually read his little inputs and how he all threw everything together, it's all there, so. Of course, these are always cool. It has got the 3D printed thing, but of course, as you may notice, these are significantly cleaner than generally the real ones you're gonna see on eBay. Firing device, electrical M57. Of course, there you go, you got your butane, ah, blah, 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 butane. <laughs> insert holes down there. Of course, you just hold it down, insert it easy peasy. A cool thing they did is I really like this little design feature is you can pop up that little thing so you can adjust higher or lower and then put it back down so it's out of the way. So the butane, you got your two screw covers, not a big issue, they connect to the little wrench bits, bam, keep everything closed. Now this guy down here is really easy to use because from right to left, you just give him a little push, he'll pop out, push them down, he's got a little slat down there to hold him into place. They also added in this little nub here to help you uh, prevent accidental discharges, which is, well, Pretty bad for a lighter, but also really bad for explosives if you don't want them, you know, exploding just yet. Smart thing they did is this cap up here too, also fire resistant. So if you're one of the guys, there's a lot of guys out there, you're out getting a few drinks on, you go, I need to light my cigar to keep enjoying the night. Uh, Let's be honest, like nine times out of ten, someone's gonna try to get this to ignite, be like, it's not, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Fire retardant, good idea. They could they know your target audience, they're gonna be trying to do this. But of course, if you hold it this way, it's easy to just put that under your thumb. Bam, easy peasy. Of course, you give it a click, you get cool flame. And it's really strong, you got your little igniter down there too, you see that? Yeah, look at him just chilling down there. So you get a lot of fire. It's cool, it's potent, torch lighter. The, um, as they say, the hobo often has a warm spoon and in the smokehouse with his bowl, but you've never seen him buy milk or cereal. Check out my uh, rap album, uh, Hot Takes, coming out uh, later this year, 2023. Maybe, if I ever get around to it. <laughs> so yeah, cool. So of course the whole thing, you got the big old button there, it's all rubberized. There's like a single metal bar thing going on. And yeah, when that pushes in, you uh, activate the flame. So with the safety mechanism in place, you can't accidentally detonate it. But if you're bored and creative, you can actually push most of that button out of the way to get access to that metal tube. And while it's in safe mode, you can still get it to fire. Why would you do this? Um, you shouldn't, it's a terrible idea. But now I've taught you to, so it's gonna be hanging out in the back of your mind, so. Yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to this. So. If these, sold, if these came out in like 2017, they were only around for a limited number of runs, and you can't find them anywhere on eBay, where did these ones come from? Well, I'm so glad you asked, hypothetical person I made up in my mind. We're back at this patch. There is a, a good guy, cool dude, out in France, and um, you might have heard of him. I did a video on a bunch of patches, and he was definitely early in the mentions. Stormcrow Supply. At the time of this recording, his uh, website, his sale page, has been down for like almost a year now, as he's still working on all of his stuff and things going on. Um, contracts for getting these made on another run, so. Of course, it's really difficult to do another run with limited funding and all that, so. Smaller numbers, probably going to be selling them at uh, relatively higher prices, but the thing is, he's bringing it back. You've heard it here first, Stormcrow Supply is bringing Sexy back. And I'm not uh, paid to, I actually paid him to order these and a bunch of these uh, cool patches and whatnot. He sent me a nice little care package. It was very kind of him, and I appreciate it greatly. So, 
If you haven't checked out Stormcrow Supply, he's got these guys coming back. Probably again in limited quantities, but you know, see how it goes. If the demand for him is probably good enough, he'll probably keep them coming, and that's cool because if he could keep these coming, then there's always the chance that with enough uh, prodding, proding, and uh, poking, whatever little things you need, maybe he knows the right guys to bring these back to. But I'm guessing uh, he probably hit up the contact us, freembear at gmail.com, listed there on the back, to get these made. So. The important thing is, if these are coming back, then we know nature is healing, and that's uh, <laughs> that's good, so. Also, um, your guy, the good Sir Knight here, does not smoke, so this is going to be mostly for uh, pyromancy. Or lighting uh, birthday candles for uh, cakes, and uh, yeah, not uh, nothing, nothing too crazy, other than the fact that I, they look really cool, so I like them, so. I just wanted to cover that for you guys real quick. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I do, like I said, I do have two of these at the moment. Definitely keeping one for myself. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with the second one at some point in the future. These were unique, hard to come by, and again, special thanks to Stormcrow for making it all happen. Because now I have two clacker lighters, a lighter for each hand. And a person with a lighter in each hand has no free hands to do drugs. Stay in school. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> so that's like every guys. Um, cheers. Stay chivalrous. I'll um, buy popular demand alone. I will find a way to get this mounted somewhere. Actually, I have an idea right now. I'm gonna get this mounted in the background because apparently everyone wants this to be in the back of all the uh, YouTube videos. It is really cool. Of course, when I did make so the tweet that did go relatively well. Um, yeah, there was a few cool responses. One guy had like three of these. They've just been hoarding so. It's cool, I would love to see these come back, because this is a really cool design, but... I don't even know where Venaris.com is. They got that rubber ducky, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so... Hopefully you guys... I don't know, I mean... 90% of the Marines I know are all heavy smokers, so, you know... M57 lighters are pretty cool, although they are also, like... Significantly larger than a Bic. It's definitely a, uh, stylized torch lighter sort of ordeal, so either way, pretty cool. I think back in, yeah, back in like 2008 when this guy came out, I had a torch lighter. Again, still didn't smoke, but um, it was a little like frag grenade shaped one, pineapple grenade, and they put a piece of, uh, was it like copper metal or something in there, right where the flame goes through? So when the flame heated it up, the flame turned green, and that's my favorite color, so that was just like the coolest thing in the world to me. And um, I think it got stolen one day, <laughs> and I never saw it again. But uh, that's okay, I'll get my gear back. I'll get it back, don't you worry. Yeah, so. Again, ultimately, cool design, cool box, cool art, everything, and um, France is bringing it back. So, we might be seeing archers here in the near future. So, that's all I got for you guys. Cheers, stay chivalrous. I'll, um, down in the comments, I will link the store page. So if you go down there at some point in the future, and it's actually open, you yourself can get a hand of these, or your hands on one of these. Well, they're in stock, so. Um, yeah, definitely keep an eye out on that, and, uh, he does ship, I'm pretty sure, like, internationally at this point. If he can get them to me, he can probably get them to you, so. Cheers, stay chivalrous, and, um, well, what we got? We got reality, consistency, and most importantly, shiny objects. Magpie dynamics. Words to live by. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. I'll catch you later. Peace. Shabam! Thumbnail. <laughs>